guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. We got movie news! We just don't we? Yeehaw! We, I'm not riding a bull. <laughs> what did I say yeehaw for? I don't even know. Shit. First off, we got Die Hard Moonshine. with a Vengeance, the reboot. I'm kidding. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's not Die Hard Vengeance the reboot. It's Die Hard the Vengeance the reboot, technically. El Miambe from you make Latino Review says that Fox is hiring writers for another Die Hard movie. We all know the last one sucked pine cones. But... Something interesting about this one, they're saying they're hiring writers, but the script has to include a part for Zeus, Samuel L. Jackson, from Die Hard Vengeance returning, and him and John McClane together. I like it. I, I mean, I think Die Hard with a Vengeance is arguably the best of the franchise. I know people are going to say Die Hard 1. I mean, and that's, you know, that's fair, too. But Die Hard with a Vengeance had such a great chemistry and character interaction with uh, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson has already got that cool-ass guy roll down, that tough guy. I think I think with a I really think with Die Hard the way it was sinking after the fifth one like they really need some like this they need a shot of this kind of new blood Zeus as in I'll shove a lightning bolt up your ass Zeus yeah and that, that movie I mean I love Die Hard with a Vengeance it's definitely top two for me I still go with the first Die Hard but the second but the third movie is is right there with it to me well I, I, I can interchange either two well I liked it in the Die Hard with a Vengeance because he had a partner. That actually made sense, and that it was the same kind of dreary, kind of asshole guy that he was in the first one. He had freaking Carl from Family Matters, and it also, I mean, it had a great bad guy in it, and also John McClane was the most fucked up in that movie yeah. I've ever been. Like he's smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. Why don't you mind your fucking business, John? You know yeah. that that whole thing. I, I loved that movie. I loved him in that movie. If they can recreate that magic and not just shithole it, then it'll be good. It just I, depends on who writes it. But I, I like it. I, I think that it. I think that honestly, if like I said, if they do it with Samuel Jackson to pitch that and to market that, that would be good enough to get people's asses in the seat. Because if it was just another Die Hard Six. With what, how terrible Die Hard Five was, people were like, ah, oh, yeah, fuck, I'm not doing and it. And let's be honest, the the, the Die Hard, Die Harder, or what was it, Good Day to Die Hard, Good Day Die Hard, that, yeah. Jai Courtney's okay, I guess, or whatever. But it just really didn't. The, the thing about Die Hard that was so great, it's one man against his great feet. And, yeah. and a Good Day to Die Hard, they were just like unstoppable. They're like falling through buildings. They were fine. It was jumping off helicopters and shit. He it took a helicopter on and he beat its ass. It, but you know, that is John McClane. He's like, I will beat your helicopter up, and then I will smoke a cigarette and drink a beer, and then fuck your wife. But a lot of it's him like <laughs> running around without shoes on, out smarting people and yeah. using, you know, well, tricks and shit one. like that. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, it just, it's lacked something since then, and I'd like to see them get that back, but I'm okay with that. I like that news. And the last and final news story of the day is, people might get pissed about this one too, and again, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't have a strong feeling one way or the other. Channing Tatum wants to play Gambit. We've heard that before, but now it's been revealed that he's actually had talks with producers about possibly playing Gambit in an X-Men movie. I'm down with that. I'm actually down with that because, you know, you look at Taylor Kitsch's uh, portrayal of Gambit, not many people liked it. I didn't mind it too much. I was like, oh, whatever. But Channing Tatum as Gambit, uh, he, you know, he actually revealed in that interview he's from the South. His dad's from the South. All that's good stuff. So he's got. He said he's working on the accent right now. I think that Channing Tatum, to me, has proven himself as an actor capable of delivering comedic lines and also being serious at the same yeah. time. I think he could blend those two things together. And he even said in the interview that he's like, you know, Gambit is an anti-hero. Gambit is so un X Men. It's funny. He seems like he knows the character. Yeah, he does. And he said he, it was his favorite character besides, you know, like Wolverine or whatever. But he loved Gambit as the character itself because he is walking the gray shades. And I like that. I think I think he could totally pull it off. He drinks. He smokes. He loves the ladies. He loves the vage, and he's still yet a good guy. Yeah. So, I mean, you can tell that Channing Tatum at least knows the part. He doesn't look quite like a gambit to me, and it's hard for me to... I, I'm scared that him doing the accent would just sound ridiculous, but he's already working on it. Who knows what it could bring. I'm, again, going to stay optimistic like I have the rest of this. Let's just keep with it. I think it could be good. I'm interested to see it at the very least. But I mean, they can, they can scraggleize him. Like, uh, scraggleize is my word. You're like, make him scraggy. <laughs> like, uh, they can make him, like, all nasty. Not, like, nasty. Gambit was never, like, an ugly guy. Yeah. The time looks. He was always, like, a decent-looking guy that got the bitches. So, I mean, I think, I think that... Dude, I really think if you look at Channing Tatum, you know, he's already... It's like, it's like a play on him. Every girl wants him already. So, he's just like... You know, what's up, girl? I got four aces. You want to tuck this dick? <laughs> and they're going to be like, yeah. And he's like, I got kinetic powers, too. Boom. It's yeah. like, you know, I think he could totally pull off that small. He smells like B.O., but he still gets the ladies. I don't know. Not Shane Tannen, but Gambit. Gambit does look like he smells like B.O., but at the same time, Mikari smells like jupe. <laughs> like that, that cologne. He probably smells like jupe at the same time. But yeah, I think he could I think he could take that character and run with it. It depends on uh, if they're going to do it with... I mean, that's another thing. Are they going to do a standalone movie called Gambit? Star on Channing Tatum, or would Channing Tatum be down with the fact that he'd have to be in an ensemble of characters with him being Channing Tatum as Gambit? I don't know. I mean, I, I, 
this kind of, I mean, we didn't really talk about doing this story, but I wanted to kind of tie it in with this because doing a spinoff or not. Yeah. I could actually work with Gambit as a spinoff uh, uh, movie that I would go and see. He's oh, badass. But, but Jennifer Lawrence, they were talking about Jennifer Lawrence being Mystique in a spinoff movie. Fuck no. No, no. That would be the most boring, like, idiotic movie I've ever seen in my life. And I and I don't, I'm saying that and I'm being negative about it, but at the same time, I look at, you know, we talked about that Black Widow was such a powerful performance in Captain America. Like, you look at her in, in Captain America 2, and you're like, oh, well, she could probably pull off a yeah. total movie. Jennifer Lawrence has not been, like, I don't think she's been built up enough to have her own movie. It's not even Jennifer like, Lawrence. And, Jennifer, like, Lawrence not like, Jennifer Lawrence could pull her off better than any other actress yeah. could. She could. But Mystique is just not that interesting. They, they focused on her so much, even though it wasn't her plan. In X-Men 1 and X-Men 2, and then when she did it in first class, and now in this next movie. I thought they focused on Mystique way too much. Like, she yeah. wasn't one of the main people I remembered thinking about X-Men. I know she's a big character, but a standalone movie of her makes no fucking sense well, to me I think Well, I think that if they did a Jennifer Lawrence slash Mystique movie, I think it would almost be like... Uh, uh, you, you know what? I'm really trying to suck the tit off Hunger Games right, right now. I want to suck that milk dry, and I'm just going to throw it out there and milk everything I can. And I'm not, I know people are going to say, well, what about, if they did that with Shannon Tam, it would be the same thing, because Shannon Tam is like a sex symbol among bitches and some guys. But it's but Gambit. At the same time, it's Gambit. It's, it's not uh, the like, actor or the actress. It's the character. Yeah, and Mystique herself is just... She's not that interesting. Like, to me, she's not that interesting of a character. She is a good supporting character in the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, and but... They've spent so much time on her, I feel like they've told her story. Yeah, there's not much more There's more... Them. Yeah, but it's not enough for you me. Got really, that, like, you got really, like, you got really, like, Russell Crowe gladiator. They're like, hooked They've on, told her story. <laughs> <laughs> they're just... They're hooked on that Jennifer Lawrence thing, and yeah. I get it. She's hot. I mean, she is hot. Jesus. I mean, shawangabongas. You know? But... Swish. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so that's that. So, guys, what is your take on it? Do you think that Channing Tatum as Gambit could ever work, and do you think about your life. dramatic music <laughs> so that's that's the movie news guys that's the question today comment below let us know remember to like us on facebook and find us on twitter in the links below to get shit you can't yeah, get on facebook, here this fucker right here and on facebook he gives you more than you could ever want i'll fucking, jerk you off so. also put any question you want to ask us about anything in the world below we'll answer in a live questions and answers video next week and as always we love your butts and we'll see you guys next time see you guys we watched a movie Watch the movie.